Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to look at really cool 2.5D or the parallax effect. It is an interesting effect that brings a static photograph to a live with some movements. So let's see how to create it. Ok. First, open any image in Photoshop. So I have selected this one. You can download this image by the link in description. After click this icon, to unlock the layer. Then we need to separate the girl, and the background. So we can use quick selection tool, to get a selection. By using those two keys, you can increase and reduce the size of the tool. After get a selection like this. By pressing Alt key, you can subtract that selected area. Likewise complete the selection. Let's refine edges. So right click, and choose select and mask. Here I'm using the Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 version. If you are using older version, there is an option called, refine edge. You can select any option as view. Here, I will use the option, overlay. Then change the smooth value to 2. Feather value to 0.3 pixels. Increase the radius to 2 pixels. And tick the smart radius. After pick, refine edge brush tool. By using this tool, we can get a selection as well as refine the edges of difficult parts. Such as hair. So select the area around the hair, like this. Change output settings as, new layer with layer mask. Cool. Now click this layer mask, while holding control. It will reappear as the selection. Then go to select, modify, expand. I will expand the selection by 20 pixels. Now go to edit, and choose fill. Make sure to select the option content aware. And tick color adoption. Then hit ok. Photoshop will fill this area as best, to erase the original object. By hiding the upper layer, we can see the result. Then press Ctrl plus D, to deselect. Right click each layers, and convert it into smart objects. The final output will come, as a video. So we need to convert those still image, to motion graphics. 
for that, we need to create a new document with 1920 1080p resolution. You can give any name to the document. I will name it as 2.5D. Next, go to the previous document and bring the both layers like this. Then place it properly. Now go to the window and bring the timeline. Now you can see the both layers that we created are appears on the timeline. Then click the bottom layer. Make sure you are in the first frame. Then add a keyframe by clicking this icon. Now, go to the last frame. Press Ctrl plus T to free transform. Increase the size of the layer while holding Shift and Alt keys. Then press Enter or click this tick. Now move to the top layer. Bring back the timeline to the first frame. Press Ctrl plus T to free transform. When we creating this motion, one layer need to zoom in, and other one needs to zoom out. So increase the size of this layer while holding Shift and Alt keys. Then add a keyframe. Now, move the timeline to the last frame. Decrease the size of the layer, in the same way. Cool. In the first time we play, it will lag a little bit. But in the second time, it will play smoothly. Now we need to render this, and make the video. So go to File, Export, then choose Render Video. Give any name, and a destination. Choose the preset as, any 1080p HD video. So I will select, YouTube HD 1080p 29.97 preset. Then render the video. Cool. Now we have finished making the parallax effect. I hope you have learned something new today. If you have any questions, mention them in the comments section. Make sure to like this video as well as to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.